wearing a Justin McCaskey makeup shirt. I did not have this made for my channel with all 200 subscribers. Um, <laughs> it would be awesome if I was that extra, but sadly I am not. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday, or I guess by the time you're seeing this, happy Thursday. Film, edit, post in one day ambitious but it's been done before so we'll go with it happy thursday or just in case happy monday so today we are doing something that i have never done on my channel number one i just like to keep an open mind about products and number two i'm just never gonna say never about any makeup products because i'm sure something could come up that would make me change my mind Actually, I can guarantee you one of the items on this list I will purchase one day. But for now, this is my first anti-haul. Anti-haul? Anti? I can't say anti without thinking about my sister or sister-in-law because that's what we call them with my son. Anti-haul. So if you want to see all of the things I will not be buying anytime soon, stick around. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I'm looking at all of these things posted on Trend Mood, so these are the more recent products. Alright, starting strong, the Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. Unpopular opinion. How is Pumpkin Spice still a thing? It's not that good. I'd go as far as to say it's not good at all. I've tried it once and it was, well, there you go. I freaking tried it once and never again, so that's my opinion on that. But yeah, looking at this palette, I just don't get the pumpkin spice thing. Like, if you go ahead and block that whole top row, can you honestly tell me that those shades make you think of pumpkin spice? There's, like, three purple shades. I don't... Right next to it, though, is the pumpkin spice melted matte lipstick. That I might be willing to try. I am curious about the smell. And the color of that makes sense with pumpkin spice, I feel. I do not know the cost of this. It's not posted yet. Frankly, doesn't matter. It's a no from me. Okay, this next one. I understand that this is on everybody's anti-haul, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Becca Zero No Pigment Foundation. I can say that the company did this right <laughs> because calling it a foundation got everybody talking about it. If they had sent this to the influencers and it had color, 100% they would have taken it, put it in a drawer and said, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it. But because it's no pigment, everybody, and I mean everybody, did a review on this. <laughs> and I have yet to see a positive review with this being foundation. A lot of them are saying it acts as a primer, fair enough. But as a foundation, it's just goo. You're putting clear goo on your face. It's a primer. It costs $47 Canadian um, for nothing. But all of that being said, am I a little bit curious? Yeah, you bet your mother's pearls I am. I would totally try this if they sent it to me for free. Or if it wound up on Ipsy for like 50 or 60% off, sign me up. Otherwise, okay, the next one is the Tom Ford Quad. These are actually really, really pretty. Like 100% would use these shades. Here we go, the first thing. There are only four shades. Four, that's three. Fuck. <laughs> there are four shades. And this costs $88. No, 115 Canadian, 88 US. <laughs> For four shades. Four shades. I could never, I could never. Even if this made it onto Ipsy for 50% off, I could never. It's, it's not happening, no. Next thing. What is with the applicators that they included in that? Look at them. You can get those from Claire's. Is Claire's still a thing? I don't know. You can get those. <laughs> you can get those at like novelty stores. I just don't understand why these are included in a $115 palette. Just fill that space in. Don't even put anything there. That would be better than those things. Anyways, that's a no. All right, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Stains. It says that they are very lightweight, pigmented, and add tint to your lips. It dries completely. It says that the packaging matches the color of the lip stain, which I think is pretty cool to just be able to look at the packaging and know what you're grabbing. However, I'm just not into the swatches. I don't know, none of those jump out as shades that I need. Maybe if they were toned down a little bit. I don't know, for me it's a no. I don't know the cost, it hasn't been posted yet. But on a different note, they included the brow pen and that I would probably be down to try. 
not in this video. Okay, this next one. I feel like I've seen this a few times. It is the ColourPop Sailor Moon collab. Let's just talk about the eyeshadow palette, I guess. It's not even that the shades are that bad. They're just very light. It seems very adolescent, juvenile. I don't know what word I'm going for. There's one shimmer. What is that? Silver Crystal. I'd be down to try that one. But basically, oh, maybe that one too. What does that say? Mark Serenity. I don't know what that says. The one under the silver crystal. I like those two. Everything else is just kind of meh. But also, why are we making a collab on Sailor Moon? Don't get me wrong, I like Sailor Moon as much as the next kid. I was like nine. Where is this coming from? Is there a reboot? Maybe there's a reboot and I just don't know about it. But yeah, overall, this would cost me $26.50 Canadian. Um, plus shipping and duties from ColourPop because it's coming from the States. So... That's a big no. Okay, this next one is the Real Tex <laughs> The next one is the Real Techniques Neon Swirl Miracle Complexion Sponge. I don't know. It just looks like another sponge to me. It's only $6.50 Canadian, so it's not like it's an expensive sponge. If you needed a sponge, sure. But I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this since I have like seven. And I guess I just don't really get putting a design on it because in like a week, it's gonna look like a stained piece of crap anyways, just like all of your other sponges. So I don't know, I'm not gonna buy it, but you do you. Okay, so this one is definitely a little bit newer. The Patrick Star One Size, we're gonna talk about the eyeshadow palette. I think he just dropped it. Did he? Is it available now? I think it is. Uh, definitely not going to buy it. I just don't really get it, to be honest with you. This is another one where I see about two shades that I would wear. Other two shades that I'm curious about. No, one shade that I'm curious about. And another one that I think looks cool, but when the hell would I ever wear it? You can't look at this and tell me <laughs> that the blue didn't stand out to you first. That is a cool blue. When and where would I wear that? And it's like the only bright color in there. Everything else is super neutral, like super neutral. And then you've got that and I just don't really get it, I guess. These shades, individually, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. So for $55, I'm not going to be picking that one up. Okay, this is the one that I was hinting at earlier. If I came into some money, like a decent amount of money, probably, maybe, I don't know. If I had some extra cash, I might buy this. So for right now, I'm going to say no. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love Charlotte Tilbury packaging. I wish I could afford it. I can't. Editing me here, this powder cost $58 Canadian. I forgot to mention that, so, okay, as you were. But it says it primes, sets, and hydrates. It has aloe vera and Japanese green tea. Um, yeah, I think this would be really wicked to try, but this is purely just me being cheap. I can't, I won't be. I wish I could, but I will not be until I see it on sale. That was probably the theme of this video, put everything on sale and I'll buy it. That's what I mean. This is why I haven't done an anti-haul, because there will always be a way that you could trick me into buying these things. Uh, okay, well, I'm done here. You don't have to leave, but you could go check out some of my other videos. Thanks for, thank you for hanging. Thank you. F oh my God. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you found that interesting, or at the very least, I hope it helped you kill some time if that's what you were trying to do. And I hope to see you back at some point. Bye.